good day everyone welcome back to another episode of the survival let's play i hope everybody is doing fantastic i am doing pretty amazing i've been doing a lot of work over here at the western town i've worked on the saloon i've even worked on the sheriff's office so let me show you guys some of the progress on that um let's see let's put you right over here there we go for safekeeping what's wrong with my arm if my arm looks weird <laughs> so my skin yes guys I'm a cowgirl that's right um, so yeah we're gonna have our cowgirl skin on today just to kind of set uh, just set the mood for today's episode um, oh yeah so I did do some work on the general store I changed the roof style I wasn't really happy with the other one but I think this is so much better it looks really really cool um, I went ahead and finally um, Completely added some uh, some stuff to the armor stand, some armor and, and stuff, just to have a nice display. I also changed the glass, and what do you guys think about that? The glass, I like the white glass and then the regular glass together. It looks really neat. It kind of looks like maybe like there's parts of the glass that's, that's old. Uh, I did that throughout uh, this as well. So the great thing about Western style building, it, it is so simple. Like it's basic, just. It's just so simple. There's not a lot of detail. I did try to add a bit of it. Um, as you guys can see, like the, the saloon sign. I did add some composters up there. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. But I try to give that saloon sign feel. I don't know. Did I, did, I, did I do a good job? Or, I mean, is it really that horrible? I kind of like it. But then there's just something that I kind of want to change about it. Anyways, let me just show you guys around here. Here is like the hotel part of the saloon. Uh, if you head over here, got some more windows. Um, I love using the new um, the new textures that I made here for the birch and also for the uh, spruce trap doors. Now, if you guys, um, in my the links in my description, I do have a resource pack, which is probably a few months old. Um, that one is still a very good resource pack, but I've since updated it. I've changed a lot of things. I even worked out the uh, the oak trap doors as well. I, I mean, it's pretty much the same. Um, I've also changed the logs a bit. Um, what else have I changed? There's a, a few other things I guess I can. Oh, and my birch trees. Oh, man. So I took a, so a huge inspiration off of Jermsey Boy's birch trees. It, also, there's a link in the description for his texture pack. But he is an amazing texture pack maker. And uh, I've, I've been taking a lot of um, tips from him. Like, just the way he, he shades and the way he works out his texture packs. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and this, if you're wondering, these are my acacia uh, that I've changed on my own. I think I did an okay job. It looks pretty good, right? Have the new uh, has the whole uh, feel of a gel cell. I think. I think I did pretty good with that. Um, but I think it looks awesome. And the reason why I went with like this grayish tone is, you know, the the bark of an acacia is gray, right? So it kind of kind of still you know feels like I'm going with that. Oh gosh, where's my bed? My bed. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and I have done a little bit of updating or of uh, texture. Uh, improvement on the crates. Hello, Spider-Man. Hello, Spider-Man. <laughs> Go away. Go away, please. All right, let's find a bed. I think I have a bed in the saloon. So today we're going to be focusing on um, decorating the saloon. Um, look at this place at night. Doesn't it look so cool? I need to finish that wall though. <laughs> I ran out of materials and I gotta get some more wood to kind of complete. I, I used a lot of my dark oak and my spruce on this build alone. Um, anyways, yeah, let's get to let's get to sleep here. Let me just show you guys the interior. So I have this little spirally staircase that I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. We may take it down today. Um, I kind of, because I want this back wall to be used for the bar. Or do we want this one? Hmm, I'm kind of thinking maybe we should put the bar here and have the staircase there. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to do that. I was going to knock this down and put the staircase going this way and then have the back wall being the saloon or the bar. But we could do it, place it here instead. I think that might be pretty fitting. Anyways, let's sleep though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here. I'm over here talking and having the time of my life while mobs are spawning out there. I'm sure. Um, anyways, <clears throat> that's what we're gonna do today. I did gather a bit more wood here. Um, we are gonna be using a lot of spruce, of course, and also birch trap doors. Which, yeah, I have a little bit there, but I do have some birch here. But oh yeah, let me just show you guys like the the logs. So there's my birch logs those are kind of a those always been the thing all it basically is is the original texture for the birch and i just removed the little black specks but um like the the logs are rounded now 
they look have a more of a, a rounded look which i absolutely love um i wasn't really a big fan of that back in the past but since <laughs> i've a lot's changed my mind's changed up a lot about it um this one doesn't look like it did i do this one did i fill did they oh i did do this one just a little bit lighter I kind of have to fix some of these still, but yeah, um, for the new texture pack, which I'll be updating, <laughs> seems like very frequently. Um, yeah, I guess I could put this stuff back on, right? Um, yeah, I'll be, uh, definitely, um, changing my texture pack. Probably not very often. I think I'm pretty happy with where it's at right now, but, um, in the meantime, anyways. <laughs> um, oh, did I show you guys? Oh yeah, the jungle. The jungle trapdoors as well. I think are pretty cool. I like these. They're nice. You need those for other stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything... How do the pressure plates look here? Oh, okay. They look more like the planks. Okay. I wasn't sure if uh, it would change uh, at all. But anyways, um, builds. Builds, builds, builds. Okay, let's grab... Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of my wood shulkers here. Actually, I'm going to grab all these because I don't know if I'm going to need them. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go with some oak logs here. First things first. Now this, we just want to take these torches down. The inside of this saloon, I mean the bar, I, I've designed one already in, in creative. So um, trying to think here. I don't know if I want to necessarily have it as wide as I made it in creative. Because it's going to take up a lot of space. But I do want it to be busy in here. I want it to look like there's a lot of space. I also have a design for a table, or uh, not a table, sorry, a piano as well. That's pretty cool using uh, looms. So I want to make sure I have room for that. I could put it like right over here somewhere maybe, possibly. Um, but anyways, let's get started. So this is going to be about a three wide. Let's do that three wide at first. And then we're going to go ahead and go against our own rules. We're going to make this an even number over here. Actually, this needs to come down. Let's uh, knock that down. Did I get the log? I did. Okay. Um, and then go on this side. Yeah, guys. This bar is going to be huge. It's going to be a pretty big bar. But I, like I said, it's going to take up some space. I want it to be busy. I want it to look very much um, like there's just a lot going on in here. So let's see. Where's our stairs? Is that my stairs? Okay. So I'm going to have to go ahead and craft up. Yeah, I'm getting low on spruce. Man. I don't know if I'm going to have enough for today's episode, guys. I mean, <laughs> maybe I should go with dark oak, though. There's a lot of spruce going on. You know what? You know? Yeah, let's do that. I think dark oak's going to be the ticket today. I did do spruce initially, you know, in creative, but this might actually be a little bit better. Okay, so let's just go like so. All right, that's going to go there. Then this is going to go... This is going to come down one, actually. This is going to go here. I want there to be a back white drop. So I don't know if this is going to actually work. Um, considering we don't have a lot of height here. But that looks great, right? Like the, like the white backdrop of the birch. So I do want to continue on with that. Now right here, I'm going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and use this wall. It's okay if the wall's there. But what I want to do... Let's put some shelving in. You know what? Let's use some dark oak shelving. That's right. We're going to use dark oak. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab... Um, where's my dark oak here? I should have some more planks. There we go. All right, cool. I'll grab those slabs just in case. Um, yeah, dark oak. Yeah, these dark oak are very, very nice. Like, look at this. Ooh, those are pretty. So basically, every uh, trap door kind of looks the same, but in its own way, I guess. That looks pretty good. Let's just continue on this way. Um, let's just throw this here. And surround that. Scaffolds. Uh, we'll just do that for now. There we go. All the way around there. Very good. And we'll put that there. All right, so that's definitely looking like a bar, and I absolutely love it. Now, there is one problem um, with the backdrop. What we could do, actually, we need to put in some barrels anyways for drinks. <laughs> um, but what I want to do here is just going to make that a shelf that actually works. Um, let's go ahead and make a shelf here as well. Like that. There we go. So it's not... It's not exactly 100% the way I built it in creative, but 
honestly, I feel I feel like it's coming out just a little bit better. Um, so I should have some barrels. Let's see, outside I may have some. Let's see, um, barrels. I should have had like a whole bunch of them. Oh, look at all that oak wood. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, and crates as well. Um, oh, I forgot to mention one other thing about my texture pack. I've changed the sounds as well. They're very much Java. Listen. You hear all the the noises of the trap doors, all the doors? They sound a little bit different. Um, I just love the sounds. I feel like the Java sounds are so much better. I, why they haven't brought them to Bedrock, I don't know why. But they really work. And also the... the uh, the rain sounds very, very smooth as well. I love it. Maybe it'll rain later. I don't know, but, <laughs> um, but I've changed the, uh, I've changed the sounds. Um, that's about it. Oh, and, uh, my sky. I've had several people asking about my sky. It's not mine. It's not part of my resource pack. So if you download my resource pack, you're not going to get the sky, but there is a link in the description for the shader pack that I'm using. It doesn't really shade anything else. Um, but it does change the sky and the water. It makes the water uh, a little bit clearer for the most part. But I absolutely love it. The sun looks great. Sundown looks beautiful, guys. Especially in this area. It just definitely feels more western. And it just feels so, so cool. Um, oh, yeah. Another thing. Speaking of um, shader packs. I have this cool shader pack that I want to show you guys here in just a little bit. I'll probably show you towards the end of the episode. But it's really, really neat. I love it. Um, anyways, I tucked away some barrels right there, which is awesome. You can't really tell, right? That they're uh, inside the, the birch wall there. Um, I do need some... Man, I don't know if I have my redstone box in here. Do I have it? Oh, I do. Great. So I wonder if I have... Um, man, this place is a mess. <laughs> I need... Oh, I don't know if I have any. I need... Um, what are those things called? Trip wires. Uh, oh, gold iron. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's, okay. Uh, well, while we're here, let's go ahead and figure out how do you craft a tripwire? I don't make tripwires very often. Oh, I just need a stick. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's make... Uh, well, let's dump some stuff off. I don't need this right now. This can be stacked. I don't know why it wasn't. I don't need that right now. I don't need all this. Oh, I do need string. All right, let's make some trip wires. Yay! We'll make a bunch of them. 18, a uh, 16. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't think I need that many. Uh, well, I I'll have trip wires now. I can throw those in my redstone box. Um, but yes. Oh, look at this place. As you fly over here, it looks so so incredible. I love it so much. This place is cool. Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys. Oh yeah yeah. Dudes, one more thing. I wanted to talk to you about something. Over here, remember we were talking about this? This is the whole, like, generated, new generated world or whatever. But if you come over here, one of the new villages are over here, dudes. I want to check it out. I want to check it out. I think we'll do that today. I think we'll do it, like, towards the end of the episode. Um, but, yeah, let's go and get, jump right back into this. But I want to show you guys. I saw that there, and I was like, I, I didn't want to explore it yet. I wanted to wait for you guys um, as I was flying around. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't mean to leave that. Uh, let's just throw this there for now. Yeah, I finally found the cave where those freaking zombies were at last episode. And I got them. Got them good. I just forgot to break... Or I forgot to fill that in. But anyways. Um, <clears throat> so, we have our trip wires. Can this get out of my offhand, please? Uh, alright. So, all that for this. There we go. Boom. Um, I kind of want to push these back. Like, what if I, instead of having these here, we put this here instead. There we go. Go like that. You know what? I like that. <laughs> it looks very, uh, it's very different. It's very different indeed, but I like it. Okay, so uh, a couple of more barrels over here. Maybe one there. We can add one like right here. There we go. Very good. All right. There we go. So um, now we can go ahead and work on our uh, bar, actual bar. So I think we're going to go ahead and tear this down. Um, and let's just go, whoops, let's go all the way around here. Just a little space. We only need like a one white space for the bartender. I think you'll be all right. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go all the way around. Did I run out? Oh, yes, I did. All right, so let's go and gra uh, craft up a little bit more here. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, man, look at that. 
That's definitely looking pretty cool. Um, so I'm, I, I wanted to put the piano by the window, but I guess we're gonna have to push it back a little bit, which will be fine. It'll be fine. Um, I do want to put a trap door here because I want there to be a way for them to, or to get in, you know, so I'm gonna make it a little bit more believable. Uh, we'll use the dark oak trap door. Very good. And we'll place that right there. Perfect. Very nice. All right. So that looks good. Um, as for lighting though, I'm still kind of in debate about that. We could just be, hmm, we could just hang these like maybe like one here, one here, and one here. Okay, so first things first, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop those looms down. Um, we're gonna put one there. Actually, no, we're gonna put it in this direction. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Actually, wait, no. We're gonna pop this out one. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna have to pop this out one. Okay, so um, I do need to add a lectern as well. Um, let's go like that. Very good. And then this is gonna go here and here. Yeah, that's a pretty big piano. Yeah, this bar and this piano. <laughs> this took up a lot of room pretty quick. Um, but I'm still, I'm still pretty happy with it. I'm, I'm happy with where it's coming um so let's grab those stairs again let's grab these again okay so this is gonna go here then this is gonna go here awesome and the lectern is supposed to go down there but we'll need to go grab one okay first things first though um <clears throat> so this is gonna go like that this is gonna go here that's gonna go there. This is gonna go here. It's gonna cover up the window a little bit, but that's not really that big of a deal. And then this is gonna go here. Ah, oh, perfect. All right, this is perfect. All right, so he's able to read and uh, read his music, and there we go. All right, that looks pretty good. I kind of want to raise it up a little bit, but I don't want it to be that big of a, uh, of a piano since we kind of are. You know, we don't have a lot of space. Um, let's use some of these trap doors to maybe possibly bring this up a little bit like so. Ooh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, I think the lecterns, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty, that looks pretty good. I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, so, uh, the other thing I want to do is we need to make like a little bench or something for him to play his music on. And I think I want to go ahead and go with... Jeez. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and go like so. Go like that. And then we can put this here. So he has like a little table to play on. But that really looks bulky. It looks bulky. Um, Alright, so we're going to wait on it. We're going to wait on that. And this bar really took up a lot of space. And so is this piano. <laughs> uh, um, well, what we can do is let's... Let's just let's continue on with the uh, with the tables. Okay, we'll continue on with the tables. We'll figure out what style we're gonna go with the tables. But I'm really happy with this piano. I think it looks awesome. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove this because we're gonna need to put tables back here. I'll go ahead and put this bed right up here since this is going to be kind of the hotel part of the entire place or like the inn. Um, so that'll be okay. Let's go ahead and grab these tables. Now these tables, they're not gonna be like all perfectly sat or uh, perfectly situated I think like with a lot of these these tables were just kind of randomly placed everywhere and we could squeeze one in like right there very good and then we'll definitely squeeze one right here in the corner um, and should we try to squeeze one back here um, I'm wondering if I should I wonder if I should if I should bring this back a little bit like if I go Let's go like this and then put those in like so. Go like so. Um, and this is gonna go, wait, how did I do it over here? I went like that. Oh, okay, okay. So I removed this, that's what I did. Okay, there's the difference. You know, I love that though. I like the white backdrop. Um, so let's actually remove these instead. So we need some more white birch backdrop. There we go. Very good. It's so weird. You can walk right through these. <laughs> I was kind of thrown off by that. And then I remember there, there's actually scaffolds. They're not actual tables. But it's weird. <laughs> okay. 
You know what? I don't mind that at all. All right, let's grab our uh, our barrel again. Grab that tripwire, and we'll place it back where I had it. We'll go like this, and there we go. Perfect. And here's the completed saloon in all its glory with the Ultra Max shaders. Uh, link will be in the description as well if you guys are interested. But I kind of like it. Like, honestly, I, I'm not a huge fan of shader packs. Um, but for Bedrock, considering it's Bedrock, I think this is pretty decent. Oh, man, why did I, why did I have to look at that? Now it's going to bug me. <laughs> um, I really like it. I especially like how it highlights each, like item you know i don't know like the uh, what is it called like just the outline or the hitbox or what you call it i think it's called hitbox um but anyways it's, it's still really cool i like the hitbox it's very very beautiful anyways let's go out here we can take a little peek on the outside um but it looks awesome i am still using my resource pack i am still using the other shader so it's pretty compatible i haven't had any like frame problems or or anything like that but it looks really cool it's a little dark I don't see myself using it like every time or all the time, but I think it's pretty nice. I may use it sometimes. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Is this a nice shader pack or am I blind? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go in here. How dark it is, in, is it in here? But look at the lighting. Look how great. Look how nice this wall looks. Like just the, the color and, and everything. I think it looks really nice. Um, but anyways, I just want to show you guys this shader pack. I did tell you guys earlier that I wanted to show you guys something cool. Um, I'm a little bit curious as to like what it looks like. Oh, let's grab. Ugh, I keep doing that. Um, I'm a little curious as to what it looks like. Oh, gosh. I think it's these barrels. These barrels are making me look like a bad flyer. <laughs> All right. So over here, I was curious. I wanted to see how this place looked. Oh, look, the rain. Wait, is it raining? Oh, you hear that, guys? It's so soft. I love it so much. And then the night skies looks great. Anyways, the shader pack at night. Look how, look how nice this looks. This looks good. Oh, I love it. It looks really, really good. It looks nice. Like I said, it's it's a little dark. If it was just like maybe like a shade lighter, it would be so perfect. But, I mean, considering, you know, considering it's bedrock and we don't really see a lot of shader packs for us, this is pretty decent, in my opinion. I think it's the best out there right now. So it's compatible with um, um, 1.11. But, oh man, this is so good. Okay, and we're back to reality. <laughs> you know, I do I do love Minecraft original, just the original shader. It just, it is still very nice. So I'm going to sleep real quick. Um, then I'm going to put all of my armor back on. Actually, let's do that first. Uh, let's put all this stuff back on. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, but I want to go explore that village. I'm excited to check it out. I, I really haven't had a lot of chances to explore a lot of the villages uh, in my in my survival world, I haven't like as far as the new um, the new 111, 1.11 11, um, or no 1.10 actually. Uh, whenever the new villages were all implemented, I haven't had a lot of chances to go exploring, but I really want to explore out this way. Now I'm curious, like I don't know if you, some of you guys question or you answered my question from last episode. You said that the reason why I'm having all these little chunk bugs or not even a bug, it's just new generated territory um, for the new update. So. Um, I just hope it doesn't continue to update because <laughs> what if it, what if I lose a build? If I build really far, is it going to lose it or is it just like, oh wait, hold on. I'm getting so like sidetracked. Wow, this place is cool. Look how tall these are. Have they always been this tall? Man, you guys have a nice little setup here. Look at this. The red concrete looks different even. It looks smoother. It looks like you could just touch it with your hand. It looks so nice. Hello, sir. Oh, man, this is awesome. We got so many villagers nearby. I usually steal all these hay bales, but I have, for, I've had this world so long. I have so many hay bales. I don't really need them. I do want to check out the chests, though. Any cool loot? I'm not really familiar with all the loot. I know it's like potatoes and all that stuff, so. Um, oh, look at that clay. <laughs> I needed that earlier. I will take the cactus, though, because dye is a thing for me. I'll take the bread. I'll take the books. Cool. We can have the dead bush. This is so cool. I love it. I love this so much. What's that? Oh, it's just some... Yeah, I, I keep forgetting I have... Yeah, that's my stone um, stone brick texture. Or uh, sandstone. Sorry, smooth sandstone or what have you. I don't know where to look first. I'm so happy there's villagers out here. There's life. You guys can come live at my western town if you want to. You could totally do it. You could totally live there if you want. Um, okay. 
And then there's also flower pots over here. <laughs> I went all the way back to my to my ravine so I could get some flower pots earlier. Hello, sir. There's a parrot out here. Oh, and a bell. I'm not going to steal the bell, but oh, there's a jungle out here now. Look at this. It's like half jungle, half sand. It's weird. Is there anything in there? Hello? Anything in there? This is neat. I, I've never seen that uh, there be a jungle and a sand village this close together. This is cool. There's a guy wandering around over there. There's not a lot of chests around here, guys. Where's all the loot? Oh, man. Look at this. We might find a jungle or a bamboo forest out here even. This is so awesome. I love this. I don't want you guys to die. Please thrive. Please don't. Don't die. Please don't. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. I hope we make it back without crashing the entire um, the entire world. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Where am I landing? Where am I going to? Oh, gosh. Uh, let's just. There we go. All right. Cool. Um, let's be extra careful. Okay, let's head down to our wall of subbies. I have two subscribers that I'd like to add today. So, uh, yeah, let's head on down. And today's subbies are Xboy and James Anderson. Thank you guys so much. Also, James, thank you so much for all these suggestions as far as the Western Town goes. I'm definitely going to go back and reference off of those because I, I definitely do have some big plans. And yeah, thank you for the inspiration on that. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you again so much for watching everybody else. Also, welcome all the new subscribers from Dally's channel. I know there was a lot of subscribers that recently have been just yelling at me in the comments saying, hello, I'm from Dallas's channel. Well, welcome guys thank you i'm so glad you're here i hope you enjoy anyways as always i love you all i'll see you next time bye